I don't know about you, but it just seemed like September both flew by and didn't fly by at the same time. Mm -hmm. I mean, but I'm so ready for fall. I'm ready for October and the holidays, and let's let's get into that, right? Yes. Zany friends, today we talk about September. Uh. <laughs> it is our September wrap up and I really hope that the rest of the year actually slows down because I don't want the holiday seasons from October to yeah. the end of the year to just fly by. I want to I want to actually take the time to mm -hmm appreciate <laughs> the holidays, but you know, I'm wearing my pumpkin shirt. I'm ready I'm ready for it. All right, let's jump into what we got going on. So we're gonna talk about uh, going from the lowest to the highest star uh, about the books that we read this month. And again, we will not be going into all the books, only our top ones, uh, so that you guys aren't like bored. But if you wanna know more about other books, we have all of our other videos that are either up now or going to be up that talk about the books that we're going to sell you. So let's start with three star. My three stars for this month were three single Single Wives, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, One by One, These Vengeful Hearts, Some Lanies Died, Spoiler Alert, and Kind of a Big Deal. For my three stars, it was Parasite, and that's by Hitoshi Iwaki. For four stars, I have Heart Bones, Hand on the Wall, The American Royals 1 and 2, Get a Life, Chloe Brown, Mexican Gothic, Magic Lessons, Don't Look For Me, and Sing Like No One Is Listening. I have Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, Ghost Story by Jim Butcher, Peace Talks, also by Jim Butcher, The Other People by C.J. Tudor, Mexican Gothic by Sylvia Moreno-Garcia, The Troop by Nick Cutter, and Juice Like Wounds by Shawnee McGuire. So now let's talk about our five star review. So for five stars, I did have two. Uh, the first one is actually a re five star for me, and that is uh, Come Tumbling Down, which I'm not really gonna talk about because I think Marshall's actually going to talk about it on his list uh, if, mm -hmm. I, if I know him. Um, so I'll just talk about my other five star review, which is In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. I have read three Christina Lauren books. Uh, the first one I read, I liked just like not really a big deal. The second book I didn't like as much so I was really kind of like on the fence between where I would stand on this book but I like Christina Lauren's writing style so I decided to give it another chance and I am so glad I did. This book was fantastic. It got me into the vibes for the holidays. Uh, it is kind of like a Groundhog Day uh, meets if you've ever watched uh, the 12 Dates of Christmas on like Hallmark or Hulu. Uh, we watch it every single year and it's kind of like that. Uh, it is the story of a, a girl who is spending her entire holidays, like probably like a, a week period, with family and her extended uh, family is like all like people that her parents were friends with in college and all of their children. So it's like 20 people up at this cabin. So on the way home she gets in a car wreck and wakes up in the airplane going to the cabin again. So she has to keep reliving, making different decisions for outcomes that happen. Like I said, it takes place in a cabin up in the mountains in Christmas. And to me, I was like, I'm all about this book. It is so great. I really only had problems with like one or two things and they were so minor. But I definitely recommend if you're looking for something that's like kind of like, you know, happy and it is like just really in the holiday spirit, you definitely need to read this book. It is great. That sounds like one I might read probably like late November. Yeah, you yeah. should. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, so my five stars. Uh, one thing to bring up is that I read through a whole bunch of Dresden File books and that's probably one of my favorite series of books. I went through those because the newest book, Peace Talks, was coming out. And so I went through Cold Days and Skin Game, which are some of my favorite ones, and those are on my list of five stars. Uh, I also have The Vanishing Stair, which um, I think we might talk about again in another video. Come Tumbling Down. 
Now come tumbling down, it's almost like if this was the end of the series, this would have been a really nice climax because it brings a whole bunch of things together from pre previous parts of the series. Right, yeah, yeah, it does. Jack and her uh, girlfriend come back to the school through a lightning gate, but then everybody's like, wait, something's wrong with Jack. Wait, that's Jill's body, even though they're identical twins. So they have to get her back, get her back into her right body before her sister uses her her body to become a vampire. One character I liked previously in the series is kind of annoying, but she arcs. She arcs. So mm -hmm. it's okay. Yes. I'm really excited to see what comes next in this series because it's just so wide open. You exactly. can go anywhere. This is going back to Dresden Files. Briefcases is a whole bunch of pieces of the Dresden Files that happen in between the other books. And it gives you more of an idea of who these characters are and what they were in between the stories. And it was just beautiful, I feel. Especially the last one of Zoo Day, um, where Dresden takes his daughter and his dog to the zoo and chaos happens. It was just great. For me personally, I read 18 books this month, third or second highest month of the year. And I don't know how I read that many, but I did. Um, I read 11 ebooks, five physical books, which is pretty high for me, and two audiobooks, which is pretty low for me. I've been, I just kind of stopped listening to audiobooks for a while there because I was so busy at work and that's when I, when I listen to it is at work. And if it's too much, then I'm like, okay, I gotta focus, yeah. <laughs> focus on my job. So yeah, so as far as the types of books that I did read uh, for review, I read eight books, but I also had two other ones that were also part of book club. So it was kind of like a dual thing. I also read six additional books for book club and three just personally because I wanted to read it. I read 6,346 pages this month, which is my second highest amount of pages for the month. I read four physical books, three eBooks, six audiobooks, But then I also read nine volumes of manga which brings my total up to 21 books if you count them each separately or which we do yeah <laughs> and so because of that it's brought me to 7066 pages in one month which is my best month ever yes and that is our september wrap up so thank you so much for watching and until next time stay zany bye bye